When it comes to rifle design, life's all about compromises. For example, I like having long barrels on my bolt guns because it maximizes the amount of velocity from any given cartridge. I also like suppressors, but when you combine the two, especially in a hunting rifle, you end up with something that looks like a musket, and if you strap it to a pack, it waves around like a flagpole. What can you do? Well, folding stocks are cool, but it adds one more area of complexity, a couple more things to break, and it adds a little bit of weight as well. Desert Tech have taken a completely opposite view to that. So I'm here with Jeff Wood from Desert Tech to run through some of their bolt guns, and maybe one of their semi-autos as well, and just to take a look at how they've gone about solving that problem. Jeff, what we got? Well, first of all, we've got the Desert Tech SRS A2. This is the... Uh, not the latest, but this is the most current revision of the SRS, the Stealth Recon Scout family of rifles. This is a 26-inch 300 Norma right now. Uh, this is a multi-caliber uh, system, so you can just loosen these four screws here, pull that 26-inch barrel out, and you can drop in any other 26 or 22-inch barrel that we make for it. We've got 308s, 65s, all these different things. So you can just change from one caliber to another. And it's still the same receiver? It's still the same receiver. Uh, uses different mags for short and long action. So this is the long action mag for the Norma. But you, all you have to do is swap out the bolt head, barrel, and the magazine if you're changing from long action to short. So, so 300 Norma is one of the longest cartridges out there. It's like the same length almost as a 338 Lapua. Correct. So you can go from that all the way down to what? Uh, really? You can actually run 223, so Short Action Customs <laughs> makes a 223 conversion kit for it as well, wow. which I'm a big fan of. That's pretty versatile. Yeah, so you can go from little things like 223 all the way up to 300 normal. There's even, uh, they're, they're even making 37XC barrels for these now, so you can run that tub 37XC uh, out of this, which is a little much for myself, but hey, if people want to do it, knock yourself out, right? Now, bow pups traditionally don't have particularly good triggers. That's definitely been... Uh, that's definitely been the case over most of the the uh, bullpups lifetime yeah yeah and so what's this one like uh, I love these triggers you've shot it um, you've shot them before so I think I think it's an exceptional trigger not just for a bullpup but for pretty much any rifle. it's a good trigger it's a great trigger cool all right so this is the more traditional the legacy version of Correct. the rifle exactly. you've got another one here what's that one like yeah about? so this one here this is the uh srs m2 this is the newest uh rendition of the stealth recon scout rifle so the m2 is essentially the same thing as that with a slightly different uh optics system on the top so this has a full length uh 30 moa optics rail on it uh, the purpose for that obviously being for adding uh, night optics in front of your day optics so that you can uh, you know, different different activities require sure. different tools. So you can put on thermals, night vision, whatever you want in front of your day scope and still use your day scope without having a misalignment with your canted optic versus a non-canted optic. And then in addition to that, we've also added the Arca, the Area 419 Arca Lock rail to the bottom of the handguard so that you can add your uh, accessories and move them around, stick it into a tripod, whatever you want to do. So... There's all those different activities that you can do with that arc lock rail, bags. I mean, sure. there's all kinds of things, barricade stops and everything you can run on. So that's what the arc lock rail is for. And it's a little bit better, I think, than the standard arc rail because instead of using just the squeezing force of your clamp, mm -hmm. it actually has these little teeth that engage. So even if you don't tighten it all the way, it's not moving. Pretty cool. Pretty so, cool. Same sort of versatility when it comes to calibers? Exactly. So this, other than, other than the optics and the arc rail, these two guns are basically identical. You pull the barrel out of that one, drop it in here, and vice versa. So they're all the same as far as that goes. Cool. Cool. Now, that's so much for bolt guns. You guys have got a semi-auto available yeah. for the civilian market. Exactly. So the MDRX, uh, we've been making for several years now. And this is one of our latest toys with the uh, MDRX. So we came out with a short-barreled conversion kit for it. So that is an 11 and a half inch 556 barrel with the suppressor added on to the end of it, of course. So this is a this is just a standard MDRX with an 11 and a half inch uh, conversion kit in it. So if you have any of the MDRX rifles, you can pull your barrel out and get this conversion kit for it, and this will drop right in. Uh, this is a side eject version, which for those who know, you'll need a side eject uh, conversion kit for it if you want to run this micron conversion kit in it. But you can see even with this one has the suppressor on it, but 
without the suppressor, it is quite short. <laughs> That's crazy short. Yeah, it's, it's... It really is. Now, I always tell people, you know, if you want something that is as short as a 10.3 AR, but still has a 16-inch barrel, then get a bullpup. Right. Or this with an 11 and a half inch barrel, I mean, it is... It's slightly bigger than a handgun. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's 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 quite short. It's easy. It's it's it's. You can even conceal it. I mean, yeah. really, you can put that <laughs> under your coat if cool. you needed to. Well, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to go shoot him. Yes, there is. All Maybe right. Go do it. Cool. Any extra bags? All right, so on the back, we got a monopod here. It's quick deploy. You just pull down on the knob. It drops down to the ground. It's spring loaded. Uh, you can just uh, get the gun in position wherever you want, hold it down. You know, you can set the gun wherever you want. And if you want to micro adjust, you can just spin that out and it lifts the back end of the rifle. Or you can spin it in and it will lower the back end of the rifle. And then just as it came out, you can put it away like that, spin it out of the way. Sweet.